Tater, this reporter wants to talk to you. <laughs> you know the rules. No skateboarding in the hall. I'm confiscating this. <laughs> Watch out, coming through. of the War of 1812. <laughs> All right, class, let's get started. <laughs> Thank goodness. I think I finally lost her. You're running away from a woman? <laughs> of course not. Besides, Mommy dropped those charges after I apologized for making her bubble bath too hot. There's a reporter after me. I just know she's going to try to pin some career-damaging school scandal on me. What makes you say that? Because I've done some career-damaging scandalous things. <laughs> like buying that discount beef from Australia. What exactly is beef? Tasmanian devil. Or this could be about the toilet paper. Or the emergency exits. Or the lunch lady. Mr. Tater, there you are. <laughs> You'll never catch me, news hound. <laughs> Get a longer skirt, Dolores. Read all about it. I thought you earned extra money participating in medical research studies. Not true, Ivy. I do those experiments because they help mankind. <laughs> Someday, these noses I'm growing are going to help somebody to smell again. Noses? I only see one. Yeah, the other one's on my lower back. <laughs> probably wouldn't choose that location again. So, I'm not selling the papers. I'm giving them away. Turns out that reporter wasn't trying to do a hatchet job on me. She just wanted a quote for their lead story. 60% off our already low prices? <laughs> Renowned artist Fernando passes away. He was an art teacher here back in the 1930s, long before he became a household name and the most famous artist of the past century. Mm. I found your quote. Famed artist for who's it? Never heard of him. There's a picture of for who's it on page eight. And nine. And ten. Wow, he was a big man. And it says he didn't create any new paintings while he was here. I know this place sucks the creative juices out of you. But he must have done some art. Maybe his work is still here. If it is, it would be worth millions. Extra, extra, read all about... 
Hey, it's my turf, buddy. No, Derby. I'm giving away the newspapers. I'm trying to undercut the competition. <laughs> if it's a newsy war you want, it's a newsy war you'll get. Wow! I think you broke my nose. <laughs> This is what it's come to? Tearing apart our school on the off chance there's a drawing, a doodle, a sketch that can be traced to Fernando? What are you doing, fella? Hey, Adam. Do you really think the paintings would be hidden in the floor? No. I'm just eliminating the competition. Maybe they're in the signs. Lab! Okay, I'll check the drama room first. No, I'll check the science lab. <laughs> Echo, please. There's no reason to tear apart my lab. <laughs> because I already have. I realize we've been going about this the wrong way. We shouldn't be using brute force to find the paintings. We should be using science. Excellent. We're making poison to eliminate the competition. <laughs> you know, it's possible to find the paintings without eliminating the competition. Okay, I'll try your way. For now. <laughs> Canvas was expensive. Someone might have painted over Fernando's work. This mild dissolving agent will strip away a single layer of paint. Ugh. I got this from the teacher's lounge. Ew. It's creepy the way the bald head follows you wherever you go. <laughs> hey, it looks like the Home Alone poster. Let's try taking off another layer. <laughs> kind of pretty for a bald girl. <laughs> This is taking too long. Let's just get to the bottom layer. No! That's undiluted formula! <laughs> dig! Dig like the worms you are! Do you really think the paintings are hidden in the ground? No. I'm just eliminating the competition. Well, there's nothing in the drama. <laughs> Can't dig through all the shiny gold-colored metal. Ah, <laughs> oh, forget it. Besides, I'm sure Tater won't like us digging up school grounds. Watch your back. No one found any paintings, and the school could have used the money. I know what I'd do with the money. Millions? Millions. I tell you, millions! Yes. I would like extra cheese on my pizza. <laughs> That's right. I'd spend my days daydreaming about past daydreams. <laughs> okay, class. We have an exciting new topic to cover today. Who has heard of the War of 1812? <laughs> How long has she been teaching this? Well, we know she wasn't teaching it in 1811. <laughs> Wait, Mrs. Barton, how old are you? They just bought a number. A four-digit number? Were you by any chance a teacher here at the same time as Fernando? Oh! Fernando! I haven't thought about him in ages. The rascal. He had such an appetite for life. And food. Mostly food. Why was he fat? So you knew him? Oh, yes. Intimately. Ew! Too much information. No. We need more information. Exactly how well did you know Fernando? 
I knew every bit of the man. <laughs> well, there were some creases in his arms I just couldn't get to. Now we have more information. You happy? Did, did he pay while he was here? Constantly. And did he leave his work at the school? All of it. And did he tell you where he put it? Absolutely. He showed me. Where is it? I don't remember. Which is strange because I'm known for my good memory. Now, who has heard of the War of 1812? Of course. Mrs. Byrne was here at the same time as Fernando. Why didn't I think of that? Because you're not very bright. I was hoping it was some other reason, but nope, you nailed it. What's going on? Is this some kind of intervention? Because I can quit these anti-gas pills any time I want. No! We just want you to remember where the paintings are. You know... There is a scientific technique called regression therapy. You can stimulate the area of the brain that deals with memory recall by speaking to the subject in a certain tone. Well, it's worth a shot. Where are the paintings? <laughs> Tell us where they are! <laughs> Once again, science fails us. <laughs> That's not the tone I had in mind. Let me give it a try. I'd like you to listen to the sound of my voice and the sound of the words that I'm using. Do you find yourself relaxing to the words? Picture a clock as the hands turn backwards and let the years melt away. One year? Five years? Ten years? Back as far as you can remember. I remember you telling me to remember, but I don't remember what. <laughs> it didn't work. It was a long shot. Hypnosis like this only works on the most simple-minded of subjects. Darn it! Mommy's mad! <laughs> <laughs> some way to access Mrs. Burns' memory. You're always working. You never help with the children. <laughs> Owie, he pulled my hair. Derby, do you want a timeout? <laughs> Get your finger out of your nose. <laughs> and your other nose. <laughs> and your other, other nose. <laughs> Will you take me potty? <laughs> Ask your mother. Okay, I'll bring them out of it. <laughs> that doesn't change the fact that I have to go potty. Okay, since hypnosis didn't work, we need another way to transport Mrs. Byrne back in time. Back to the 1930s. You're right. We need a time machine. Derby, that technology doesn't exist. Not yet. But you're smart. You could invent one in the future, then use it to bring it back to this moment, pick us up, and take us into the past. Fact. You should be arriving. Right? About? Now! I guess it didn't work. Or it did work. But instead of stopping in this time to pick us up, Selfish Adam traveled straight back to the 1930s himself, so he wouldn't have to share the fortune with us. Let's get him! Yeah! Ooh, wait! I think what Adam was trying to say was we need to provide Mrs. Byrne with a visual stimulation. Recreate the 1930s right here at Finnegan. Well, actually, I was thinking my time machine would be arriving right about now. <laughs> Okay, we'll try it your way. Gee whiz, Mrs. Burn, ma'am. Care to join me in a round?
rousing game of kick the cat? <laughs> Want to play again? <laughs> Hi there, Mrs. Byrne. Who are you? I'm one of your students. Don't you remember? Just yesterday you were teaching us about the War of 1812. There was a war in 1812? <laughs> really? <laughs> we should head inside soon. We've got art studies with Mr. Fernando. Fernando? I imagine so. After all, this is a typical, authentic day at Finnegan High in the 1930s, right? Right you are, Dollface. <laughs> Dollface? That's what mobsters say. Plus, your face does kind of look like a doll's. I thought I was your Dollface. Take me somewhere. Let's go dancing. <laughs> What are you doing? You said to recreate the 1930s. At school, you look ridiculous. Hello, governor. <laughs> you don't want any chance to eat your chimney wrestle, do ya? <laughs> Why would there be a cockney chimney sweep at Finnegan High? Well, excuse me. I don't see you coming up with any big ideas. I came up with this entire big idea. Uh, Mrs. Byrne, Mr. Fernando asked us to fetch his paintings. Do you remember where he left them? Oh, the paintings? Yes. Oh, such lovely paintings. Yes, yes, they're lovely. Do you remember where he left them? Left what? The paintings. Oh, the paintings? Yes. Ah, oh, such lovely paintings. Yes, yes, they're lovely. Do you remember where he left them? Left what? This is not working. I don't know. Why don't you go around one more time? That goes right. We need a heavy hitter. <whistles> Fernando! See, <laughs> see. Fernando is here. Fernando! My love! Yes, Fernando, your love. Why couldn't I have been the adorable lollipop girl? Oh, Fernando, you look better than ever. Seriously? I mean, uh, gracias, uh, mi querida. Now, um, eh. Uh, do you recall where I left my precious pinturas? Forget your paintings. Here's a real work of art. <laughs> yeah. You might want to stretch out that canvas. I really should get back to my paintings. I don't understand. You said you loved me. Something is not making sense. <laughs> now kiss me. <laughs> We're losing her. Do something for the paintings. Come on now, give the old bird a snow. Take you to your painting. Yes! <laughs> Come in, and I'll show you some of Fernando's greatest work. The paintings are in your classroom? <laughs> of course. I wanted to put them somewhere I would easily remember. <laughs> You'll excuse me, I must find my mustachio virtuoso. I love it when he plays hard to get. Do you think there are more behind that one? <laughs> Let's call that a yes. Quick, put them in that box so we don't have to look at them. Oh, 
Thank goodness she's gone. Did she show you the paintings? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, where are they? Forget it. You don't want to look at them. <laughs> oh, so that's your game. I do all the dirty work, and you guys try and cut me out of the score. You don't understand. No, you don't understand. I am not leaving this spot until I see Ernie, those... is that you? I've changed, and I'm ready to pose for another portrait. I've got to get out of here. <laughs> Remember that slinky little dress you love so much? Well... It just slinked down to the floor. <laughs> huh. I could have sworn I heard him. <laughs> Fernando! Paintings may be worth a fortune, but the world is better off if they stay buried. <laughs> Forever. I'm a little uncomfortable with this. Maybe we should put my dirt over it. I've got a cement guy. You could pave the whole quad. Good idea. No one should have to endure the trauma of looking at them ever again. <laughs> Must have fainted. Oh, I'm sure the coast is clear by now. <clears throat> huh. Wonder why that won't open. Well, I'll just call somebody and have them come get me out. Oh, no signal. That's just super. <laughs> well, at least I won't have to look at Mrs. Byrne again anytime soon. 